Today's video is a third in a series on character level styling animation in Resolve 17 or 18. Previous two videos show you how you can animate individual characters, and have them come on or change color or pretty much do anything you want to do to animate them. In the previous video, I showed you how you could have them come on at different points, animate separately, individually. But the one downside to the way that I showed in that video is if you come up here to the spline editor, you'll see that it's all part of one spline and each one of these is a keyframe for the different characters animating. So you can come in here and adjust the ease in and ease out, maybe do an S curve and change the timing a bit, but it isn't exactly ideal. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can have individual splines and animate, uh, have more control over each of the characters that you're going to be animating. So right now, just disconnect this previous text plus node. And I'll add a new one. And I'll connect it to the merge. And I'll put that in the first viewer here. I'm going to do the same thing with ABC. And I'll just increase the size of that. And we're going to come, we're going to start off at the end of the animation here, so it's going to be frame 89. So, it's going to start off the same, we're going to come to character level styling, go over to the modifiers tab, click on that, so now we're in the character level styling modifier. Now the difference here is we're not going to be highlighting all the letters, we're just going to be highlighting one at a time. So up here, enable the outline, just so you can see the outline of the different characters. So I'm going to drag select and select A first, because that is the last character that's going to be coming onto the screen. Come over to the inspector here and click on the keyframe. Come up to shading and come down to position. And that's how I'm going to be animating the characters off the screen. So I'm going to start off by changing this value and then setting it back to zero so that the key fr keyframe is set. Then I'm going to move it forward 30 frames, frame 59. And I'm going to use the offset X to move the A off the screen. Then I'll just move this forward and make sure the animation is correct, and it is. So I'll go back to that. Now the difference between this way of doing it and my previous video is instead of, again, of highlighting them all, we're going to be doing them one at a time. And we're also going to be nesting the character level styling to get that to work. So within the character level styling here, I'll move over to the text. I'll right-click in this text box and choose character level styling. And now we have a second one. And we're going to be using that to animate the B. So make sure you drag select just the B over, enable the keyframing, come over to shading, position, change this, change it back to zero. And then we're going to move 30 frames forward again, so that's going to be frame 29. And then I'm going to use the offset X to move the B off. And again, I'll check it again, make sure that the animation's working. And I'll go back to that frame. And then we're going to do C, so we're going to come over to text. For the second character level styling, right click and choose character level styling again. Now you can rename these if you right click on them, go rename or hit F2. You can be if you want to be a little more organized. But for this, I'm just going to keep them with the default name, but you can rename them so you can be more organized. But I'm going to do the same thing. So I have I'm going to have C selected, enable keyframing, come over to shading, position, do the same thing. Modify that, change it back to zero, go to the beginning, and then move the C off. Now if you play through, they all animate on at their different times, just like before. But the difference here is if you come up to spline, so you have three different ones, and if I clean them up here, you can see that each one, each one has two different frames, two different keyframes here, so as I go through, see that I now can individually change so I can have this one select it have have a curve and just kind of change that and just change the speed of it so now if I come through and play it eases it at the end and the other two is just come in and you go in and modify each one separately so you have a lot more control over the animation and the timing so either all three ways are great uh, for their own uses and depends on how complicated you're going to get into and how quick how much time you want to spend on animating but that was a way to animate your different characters so you have more control over them so hopefully you found this video useful and i thank you for watching